have a little quotation which says, winners don't do different things, they do things differently. Many people ask, what do they do differently? Folks, first of all, the most important thing that, do, that winners do differently is, they form the habit of doing things losers don't like to do. And what are the things losers don't like to do? They're the same things winners don't like to do either, but they do it anyway. Go check out. Losers don't like to get up in the morning. Winners don't like to get up in the morning either, but they get up anyway. See, losers don't like to work hard. Winners don't, don't like to work hard either, but they work hard anyway. So winners form the habit of doing things losers don't like to do. They make it a reflex action. How many times have you heard people talking like this? This person is just lucky. Every time he touches dirt becomes gold. And this person is just unlucky. Every time he touch, they touch gold becomes dirt. Analyze their life. Analyze every transaction in their life. And you will find that people we call lucky. Positive behavior has become habitual. Every time they do it, they just do it right. It is reflexes that come through. Folks, if we have to think to do the right thing, we can never do it right. I don't care how old we are. Our parents said one thing, form good habits and habits form characters. See, if we have positive habits, we are a positive character. If we have negative habits, we are a negative character because 90% of our behavior is habitual. We don't think, we just act. And good habits are hard to come by, but they're easy to live with. And bad habits come easy, but they're hard to live with. And before we got the habit, the habits got us. So the key is, if we want to succeed in life, we must form positive behavior into reflex action. And that is the key. That's one. And number two, the second thing that winners do differently is, winners always put in that extra effort even when it hurts. Dan Gable won the world title in wrestling. And when he became the champion, people asked him, how did you become the champion? And he said, when I was preparing for the championship bout, I was so exhausted, I wanted to give up. But then I pictured in my mind, my opponent, he must be practicing. So I went back into practice. He said, again, a point came. I was so exhausted, I wanted to give up. I pictured in my mind my opponent, he must be practicing, so I went back into more practice. Again a point came, I just could not lift myself anymore. I pictured my opponent, I don't think he can lift himself anymore either. Guess what I did? I went back into more practice. He said, till now we were at par. This is the only edge I have on the other person. So, is there any coincidence that he became a champion? How can he not be a champion? See, winners don't do different things. They do things differently. In fact, many years ago, the world record on high jump used to be seven foot four. Not pole vault high jump. How can a human being clear a bar seven foot four? Boy, four foot seven is tough. And somebody asked a champion, how did you clear a bar seven foot four? And he said, I throw my heart over the bar and my body follows. Man, what an answer. He said, I throw my heart over the bar and my body follows. How can he not be a champion? See, winners don't do different things. They do things differently. They always put in that extra effort even when it hurts. And that is the winner's edge.